Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, the place where we talk all things records. Today I'm just going to be showing you how you can identify if your copy of Abbey Road is an original first pressing, or at least an early pressing from 1969. This is my first stereo pressing. Now all the original UK covers will be laminated. This one's a bit messy, but it's pretty good. A couple of creases down there, but you know. So lamination, and this one has a fairly thin spine which is the spine width can vary on Beatles albums. The back's also laminated. It does not credit the song Her Majesty, which would be there on some copies it does. Not early ones, but later presses. Now this apple, there are two different types of Abbey Road covers. You've got the aligned and misaligned apple. So this is, of course, the aligned one. I'll be doing a video on the misaligned covers as I've got one on the way in the post. So... Once I get it, I'll do a video specifically for that, but all you need to know is if it can be either aligned or misaligned. So, And sometimes the earlier ones will come with a black and a sleeve left over from the White Album, but the majority of them have this standard sleeve with the patents, numbers and made in Great Britain. Now the label is a nice dark green. It might not show up on camera, but it's the, the colour is fairly dark. And you'll see there, Made in UK, and the th note, the 33 and a third is to the far left under that's the early, because some as the presses go on it sort of moves to over here. Sorry about that brightness by the way. Oh yeah, catalog number there. Now the main thing to note is on side two, is there's no credit for Her Majesty. Now this is the earliest label variation. And they did add it on, but this is the earliest one. And it's probably more common to not have it on the label, even though that is a first pressing. So the ones with Her Majesty are probably not as common, even though that's the correction. The matrix numbers are dash 2 on side 1. And dash 1 on side 2 for the first cut. And it's a great sounding cut, probably the best. And it's done by, um, sorry, it was cut outside of EMI. I believe, sorry, it might have been cut out EMI even, sorry, I'm getting a bit mixed up with Get Back, but the Dash U matrix ending meant it was cut outside, I believe, so this was cut by EMI, EMI I believe, under the Apple label, of course, as you can see the rim text. This one's a bit more beaten up, but it's still a first pressing, which is nice, as you can see there. So again, to know, and on this side as well, about that 33 and a third, is it all on later presses? It will move closer to the under there, over the UK. And uh, I believe that second presses have it here as well. So if you see one over there, it can be no earlier, or sorry, no later than like a second press. So first and second presses will have it like under here. Then once you get onto the third presses, it sort of begins to move over. So that's one way to tell. And another thing to note about the cover, as I talked about the misaligned apple, is that you may think, is there a way to tell just by looking at the front? And there actually is. So first of all, you'll see here on, sorry, focus that in. On the regular cover, that part of the of the zebra crossing looks like that. You've got a fair amount there. And the top of the top of the um, corner here, let's focus that in. Uh, you can see there's quite a lot of space in between the top of the building there and the tree. Now on the on the misaligned apple covers, there's less space here, and there's less, there's like just the corner of that poking out as the picture is like zoomed in and out. Another thing to notice, people think the apple itself has moved across, but it's not. It's the picture again is zoomed sort of out, zoomed out into the into the cover as this is still under the A, but that moves across a little bit as well. So that's one way just to differentiate the covers. So hopefully that's given you some pointers on how to tell if your cover's an early one and an original. And hopefully you stay for some more videos. See you later.